What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Today, today it is unusually early for me. It's 6 20 something in the morning. I don't like being awake this early, but it was necessary. So what are we doing in today's video? As you saw by the title, uh, Michael from Santa's Workshop has agreed to give us a hand. Um, see, I was just going to leave the little uh, Plymouth Colt exactly the way it is. And he said, man, he said, why don't you bring that thing down here to your shop and I will come by and uh, see what I can do to paint the window frames to make it look a little bit nicer. And I was like, you know what? That's a great idea because a lot of you have commented that it looks a little rough in that area. No, look what's still here. Well, at least they're both still here. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think you guys are right. And when I went to visit JR, he said uh, that was his main thing was like, this right here is just real bad. You know, this makes it look so much worse. If you can take care of all of this, it'll make the car look so much better. The only thing is, is we have to drive it uh, 60 miles there and 60 miles back. Well, we just got through putting what? 329 miles on her just a couple days ago going to visit watch JR go in Kansas so uh, yeah another 120 miles on top of it we'll have like 450 miles when we're done driving this thing today now I did fill up the tank so she's got a fresh tank of gas full tank of gas I'm gonna let it sit here warm up for a minute Although being fuel injected, I don't think that's gonna make any difference. She's running well. Let's get on the road and see what happens. Well, take a look where we're at, guys. So many of you commented and said that you were really sad and, and you really missed AAR headquarters. And I, as you can see by the grass here, uh, I haven't been here in a while. <laughs> it's been a, yeah. She's looking a little rough over here, guys. So I've started, a, I've started mowing. And I'm gonna continue on. Look at this. Look at this. And that yes, there is a flag that I still need to hang up. It's actually at my other house. I keep forgetting to bring it because I'm rarely ever here. But we got a special guest with us today. Da -da -da -dum. We're about to break out that bad boy right there, the John Deere. We've got, well, you already know we have the cold. Well, we got Michael from Santa's Workshop. How's everybody doing? I told everybody you were coming. I'm here. But, guys, look, I'm just basically vlogging today. If you hear that rattling, it's just a little heat shield. It's no big deal. Um, he is going to be recording, straightening out all that nasty, weird-looking... Well, the paint's pretty much gone. It looks like it just kind of came off. Yeah, So. Does. You're gonna have to go to his channel if you wanna see him go through the process of cleaning that up, make it look a little better. Go over to Santa's Workshop. That's right. I'm gonna have a link down below in the description box below. Go over there, subscribe to his channel, man. I'm dying to see you hit that 2,500 mark. Oh man, I'm just, I'm this close I know too. it, <laughs> I know it. I know, he, guys, he's like this close from hitting 2,500. So go over there, let's get him to 2,500 subscribers by the time this video comes out. I mean, after all, he's helping to save this relic right here. This is a piece of American... Oh, wait. No, it's a Mitsubishi. Well, it says Plymouth, so we'll just say it's a piece of American history. There you go. Mopar, no car. I'm going to pull this into the shop, guys. I'm going to get the, the lawnmower out real quick. I'm going to mow this lawn, and uh, I guess you can jump over to his channel and go check out the progress on this. And then when we're done, I'm going to drive this back to the city, if it makes it. It should have about 460 miles that I've put on this little car. Oh, wow. After resurrecting it from its grave. No key, bad gas, and it's still running on the, I think it's still running on the battery. Yeah, it's still running on the, the battery that was in it when I got it. What brand is that battery? I want some. You know what, let's check, because I could be wrong, but I'm, and by the way, guys, I got a, it opens from up here. I got a big surprise for you. If you see that, that ticket in there? Oh, yeah. That ticket is me running the toll booth in Kansas going to see JR from Watch JR Go. So I'm going to leave that in there and I'll even sign it. I'm going to autograph 
autograph my turnpike ticket from when I drove this car to uh, watch Jargo's garage up in Kansas. Duralast. Duralast, how about that? Wow, it's kind of hard to believe that <laughs> the battery's doing good. Yeah. It looks pretty rough. But she's a, she's a mover in a group, man. She runs and drives. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this out first. And then I'll pull the car in and uh, I'll get to mowing the yard. Guys, let me tell you something. It has been one hell of a long day. As you can see, it's getting dark outside. We got baseball size hail coming. Things are about to pop off. The car is not 100% on this lift the way I'd like it to be, but you know, it is what it is. I figure we got the car here. We might as well get her up on the lift and take a peek underneath before she goes down to the auto spa and uh, gets a detail and then off she goes let me tell you something guys i miss this shop <laughs> i really miss this shop man uh haven't used this lift in forever let's get her up in the air see what's going on underneath all right there she is on her safety latches man unfortunately uh, i can't get it too much higher than this right now because uh well i could close my garage door i guess i could get a little bit higher but i think we're fine man i just kind of wanted to take a little peek under here because we have driven it a long way like we've put about 400 miles on her and i'm just kind of curious how things are looking under here let's climb on under and take a look main thing i was wanting to make sure of is that it's not soaking wet under here and it's not it's it's dry as a bone except for right here Y'all probably can't see that, but that is where the transmission dipstick tube is, and that's where it was missing. So remember, the dipstick tube was gone, and a lot of the fluid had actually been spilling out of it, so that's all that is there. Suspension looks to be in pretty dang good shape, man. Everything under here actually looks really, really good. Still got the catalytic converter. Got a little resonator right there. Looks like got a solid uh, rear axle back here. And there's a muffler, and that's where the spare tire goes. I'm probably just going to leave it out. Everything under here looks really, really good, guys. Let's climb out from under here. All right. Well, I think she's about ready, guys. I want to drop this thing down here in just a minute once I get a... I think that's going to be the thumbnail right there. But I want to show you, like, I'm super proud of this yard, man. Like, I came out here and worked all day weed eating, mowing. Look at this. It's actually looking pretty good back here. I wish I had my uh, leaf blower. I would have uh, blew off the porch and everything, but unfortunately I left that at the other house. At least all the grass is level. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I'll, get, I'll get a broom and I'll just sweep all this stuff off here in just a minute, but it looks pretty good out here, guys. I, uh, I really miss this place. I do. I had a lot of people the only reason i decided to show you guys the property and the shop is because i had so many people saying that uh number one they missed it they really wanted me to show the property again so you know for those of you that said that there it is man then i had other people that said you know i went bankrupt or something or i lost my house my house got taken from me it's like no guys no the house is still here it's still doing fine haven't had any issues with casper since we moved out that's what we called the ghost whatever it was we were dealing with have had no issues since we moved out at all kind of kind of crazy there's my little wood pile i came over here and just weed eated the hell out of everything guys it's a lot of a lot of yard it's a lot of yard um it's an acre and it takes a while to mow we got to burn a burn pile right there that's where we're going to take all the sticks move them over to this little uh, fire pit over here eventually and just start burning them up this is where uh you guys might remember i burnt down the shop uh the garage that i tore down with the jeep yep it's uh been a slow recovery it's been a very slow recovery but the ground here is starting to come back to life that's where that old uh shed used to be the red and white shed i gave that to my neighbor over there i don't know what he did with it it was actually sitting over there last time I, I was here it's gone now huh interesting yeah anyway i don't know what happened to that but look at it guys <sighs> i miss my shop i really do i really miss this shop here's the old bumpers to the ford tour or ford tempo right there and uh circuit way back around into the shop here 
good lighting in here man really good lighting the john deere killed it today i mean just went out there and, and knocked all of that down that was a chore but she got her done so uh i treated her to a bath i cleaned out i cleaned out the deck i cleaned out the belts and everything under there all the pulleys gave it a nice wash filled it up with fresh 91 octane non-ethanol gasoline so uh i need to clean this up a little bit but i just don't have time today so uh there's the car man there's the colt i'm so glad that we were able to bring this one down here and put it on the lift for you guys i think it's time uh we really do have baseball size hail is what they're calling for i got to get back to the city because i got to get to my other house all of my flip cars are sitting outside currently um insurance auto auction hasn't picked a couple of them up yet so i definitely want to get them in the shop before this hailstorm comes so i think i am going to get up out of here I know it was a relatively short video, but hey, if you enjoyed the content, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, go ahead and hit the thumbs down button. That's fine. You're not going to hurt my feelings any. Drop those comments down below, though. Whatever. Just leave me a comment. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Auto Auction Rebuild. Subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed. And until next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon in the next one. And if you stuck around to the very end of the video, a special shout out and thank you. We made it. I told you guys. And now we've got, what do we got on this thing? We have 471 miles on this car since I bought it. And she is still running and driving strong. So I figured I'd show you, for those of you that stuck around to the very end, that we actually did make it back to the shop. As you can see, the rain is here. And I am, uh, I'm gonna load up all of these cars out here and I'm gonna put them in the garage because the last thing we want is our uh, flip inventory getting damaged. Now, real quick, to answer a couple questions, just because I get a lot of people wondering, why do you leave your nice expensive cars outdoors, but you put your clunkers in the garage? And the reason for that is very simple. These cars all have liability insurance through my dealership, not full coverage. So if, the baseball size hail, which they're talking about again, it's storm season in Oklahoma. If we get baseball size hail, these cars are done. They're totaled. I wouldn't be able to sell them if my life depended on it. Uh, and all the work that went into it, all the money that went into them, it'd just be gone, be wasted. However, my nice cars, they have full coverage insurance. So if something happens to them, my insurance steps up, takes care of it, either replaces it, pays it off, fixes it, whatever the case may be. Either way, they get taken care of. These are not. This is my bread and butter right here. These cars take priority over the nice one. Guys, thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.